Hello again, this is Barbara Langston, Certified Centangle Teacher. And today I'm showing day 14 of the Inktober Tangle Patterns. And today's pattern is Abukas, A-B-U-K-A-S, by Charcat CZT. It's a fun, pretty, and easy pattern. And it's um, related to Arukas, which is by Molly Hollibaugh. And if you've ever done Arukas, you'll see how this one is very close. I'm gonna start by cheating with a little circle maker because when I did this the first time, it didn't look so good. So just to start it out nicely. Okay, so with Abukas, the way that Charcat shows it in her step outs is she puts these, I'll call them kind of little teardrop shapes around each petal, I mean around the circle. And she puts six, and that's usually what I see. Mine are never perfectly shaped. Okay, so if you're going to put six, think of this as a clock. And this would be two o'clock, two o'clock and four o'clock. And that would give us the six divisions that we need. I always have a hard time getting these spaced nicely. Let's come around this way. I think I do a little bit better keeping it even. Okay, we're going to come like this and bring it around and I'm going to bring this one back down and then I'm going to do that right across from that one okay and then across from that one so I'm trying to get them evenly spaced but if they're not that's okay all right so there's our six the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add an aura between each one of these around the circle and between our little petals. I try to keep them about the same width, but I rarely get it exactly right. Okay, so once we have that circle of auras, we're going to go to the top of this and we're going to bring auras down from the top of each of these petals. And turn your tile. Okay. A bad habit of not stopping on the line. I tend to stop a little bit before. I've heard some people say, watch where you're going with your pen, not where you've been. And focus on what I'm doing instead of thinking about what I'm going to have to do next. Okay, so we have an aura around each petal. Now we're going to go back and add an aura again around each one of these between the petals okay so i have that aura i'm going to go back to the tops of my petals bring my aura around again always Turning your tile to make it more comfortable for your hand. Okay, just keep coming around.
Okay, and then we can just keep going with this. So now we have one, two, three between each one. And then, like I say, you can just keep going further out like that. Um, I'm going to show you a way that I like to do it. I'm going to make just a little bit smaller circle here. And I like to have my petals a little bit more like this. So instead of it being a teardrop, this one, I'm not sure what you call this shape. A little bit different shape. Though. And then again, I'm going to try to line it up at about, I think two o'clock would be. If I were looking on a clock, and then halfway between these two would be about right here. And then straight across from that. And straight across from this one. I actually got my spacing fairly nice this time. Okay, so again, you're going to do your R's first around the inner circle. And then we're going to R from the top. Bring these down, turn. I like the curve on these. You can put patterns inside of this. What I tend to see the most is that people put gemstones in the middle. And I do have a class on creating gemstones, but there's also, or Zen gems, um, lots of tutorials on YouTube that show Zen gems. Okay, and then again, you would just keep coming around. And I'm going to show you if I wanted to do a um, Zen gem inside of this, or just at least make it look more like a ball, I would take my graphite and I want it to be darker up here, so I'm going to add it kind of heavy, and I want to make sure that I get my graphite right up to that line. Okay, and then I'm just going to barely bring some graphite around this way, just a touch. Okay, now I'm going to get my tortillon and I'm going to use the side of it. And I'm just going to soften this, keeping it dark up here at the center. Soften all the way in. Thank you. 
And then just lightly bring it down, leaving this white down here in the center. So that looks kind of like a crystal ball. I'm going to take uh, my gel pen and make sure it's working. I always keep scrap pieces of paper around. When I do my own paper and cutting, I rarely throw anything away. So now I'm going to bring a line across here, give it a little break, and bring another highlight around that way. You can make it thicker if you want to. Add a little bit more to make it a little bit brighter. And there you have a little bit of a gemstone inside of that. You could add a little bit of shading at the bottom of each of these where they meet. It looks like they might be going under that other aura. You could put a little bit of shading up here at the top of each of your petals. Remember to be mindful of that gel pen because it takes a while to dry. Like I said, depending on how big you make your center circle, you could uh, have several of these petals coming out, but I just want to show you the basic way that abukas is done. Arukas, which uh, Molly Hollybaugh came up with that name because she was on a phone call with Sakura and she was playing around with patterns while talking and she named that pattern Arukas because that is the name Sakura spelled backwards. So a little tidbit of info there. Okay, so there's a simple way to do that. Here's the other version. This one's unshaded. But I'm going to show you how I have it in my sketchbook. I did this one last night, and that's the way that I just showed you those petals. This is Aruka's in the middle of abukas. I did striping on these little petals and I put in a drum between, between each one and then did a little aura around the top of henna drum. And that was last night's meditation before going to bed. And I really enjoyed doing that. It's a simple pattern, has a lot of possibilities of different things that you could put here if you had it on a big tile, you could put another pattern all around it. I hope you have fun with it, and I will see you next time. Bye.